Hey, what's going on out there fishing fam? Ray Sharif here with the Dirty Hookers and today we're doing a little bit of a DIY. I've done a video similar to this in the past and today it's super, super windy outside. It's blowing like crazy. And on top of it, I recently found a couple of lures that I feel like could use a little bit of touch up. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go ahead and get a repeat on this super fun, super cool DIY. So recently I came across a couple old Taddy A1s that I had in the box, hiding in the box. So I sanded them down completely. I definitely recommend sanding down your jigs or any kind of lures that you're going to do for this if you're going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to be doing surface irons. This is what I'm going to be using is two Taddy A1s and anything else I can really find that needs a touch up. So I'm going to go ahead and switch up the camera angle, uh, show you all what you are going to need to get this done. Now there's only a few things you're going to want to need. What that's going to be is spray paint colors of your choice, a bucket of water, lures of your choice, or whatever you want to do this with, and a cleaning stick. You can get away with a wooden dowel or some kind of a stake or whatever you want to use to clean up the excess of the spray paint that sits here on top of the water. That's all that you're going to need. So now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is get a base color of white. That's all I'm going to do, just a quick little base layer, something to help the new colors kind of pop out a little bit better. I don't want a crazy amount of white on there, I don't want it to be extremely white, so that's all I'm going to do. Just a quick little base layer to help the new paint and new colors that I'm about to add pop that much more. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave those out to dry, and since it is windy, the wind's going to be kind of in my favor and it's going to help these dry pretty quickly, so I go ahead and move on to the next process. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, try using warm water. I've heard that does help some people. Uh, I've never had an issue yet. I just fill up the water straight from the hose and it hasn't been an issue yet. Uh, if it doesn't work right off the bat, try using warm water and make sure your paint is oil-based. All right, so they've been drying for about two hours now. It's pretty dry, it's not sticky at all. And the last thing that there is to do is to go ahead, spray paint the water and dip your jigs in. Now as far as paint goes, you do want oil-based paint. The oil helps the paint to stay on top of the water the way you want it. Water-based paint is going to mix into the water. So you want oil-based paint. I'm pretty sure Rust-Oleum spray paint is all oil-based. Don't quote me on that because I don't know 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So that's what I'm going to be using. And as far as pattern goes, I really want to do that almost like bird poop pattern. So I'm going to be using white and brown or possibly white and black as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get Started and show you guys what to do. Now from here, all you need to do is take your spray paint, spray it right on top of the water. Make sure you shake well though. All you gotta do, spray it right on top of the water. Until you get a nice buildup of paint on top. And actually what you can do from here is take your stick Scrape it through, try to get a design that you're looking for. So I'm trying to go for more of like almost a melted look to it. So I'm gonna try to do nice long paths through the water. I even add some brown into there. Kind of liking how that looks right there and dip my jig in like this looking for more of that white on top and uh, color on the back fully submerge it i'm gonna hold it by the hook now i take my stick kind of mix around until all the paint is out of the way the method i've noticed that works the best for getting all the excess paint out just keep on spinning your stick in a circle. Kind of helps it just grab onto it a little bit better. And after time, you should be able to get all that paint down and it'll just stay right to the stick like that. Next, what you do is you pull your jig out of the water. Uh, that's close to what I was looking for. Not exactly what I wanted, but overall, the look is there. White on top, dark on the bottom. And uh, what's super cool about hydro dipping your lures is that there's never gonna be another lure that looks quite like yours. This is a one of a kind look. You made it. I think that's pretty cool about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. I got an old school killer jig right here. I'm gonna do a lot of mint on this one and a little bit of white and see how it turns out.
Kind of liking the way that looks. I'm going to plop it right here. Just like that. Take my stick, dip it in the water, swirl around. Just like that, most of the paint is out. Pull it out of the water. And there you go. A little bit of white for a little bit of definition. And that side looks pretty rad as well. But uh, mainly mint, kind of like that. I'll go ahead and fish that this year. And there you have it. That's all it takes to hydro dip your own lures or anything that you want to hydro dip in general. Bucket of water, a little bit of spray paint, and it could be done. And there you have it guys, that's all it takes to hydro dip your own lures to get a one of a kind lure. Or really anything else, whatever you want to use, whatever you want to hydro dip, it'll totally work. But that's going to go ahead and do it guys. Fun little DIY, super easy process, super cool way to get your own personal one of a kind lure that you can go out and catch fish on, which makes it even better. But that's going to do it, that's going to be all for this video. Please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Sure.